Good day from WA. Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to look at all these wonderful books that uh, Mum and I have purchased on Amazon to help with our collaging. So, of course, I know that a lot of people um, either have this book or have seen this book and use this book in the Marguerite Miller challenges or, or in general collaging. So just with an idea of the books that we're going to be looking at today so that you can see which what the covers look like. And I will put a timestamp for the video um, on the screen as well as in the description box so that people who can't see timestamps because they're watching it on TV like I do, then you will see it on the screen here. So um, the first one will be The Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage by Maria Rivens, which is the one that everybody uses. The next one will be Extraordinary Things Cut Out and Collage which they've obviously used the same title, but it's by a different person and uh, nothing to do with Maria Evans. The third one will be the Cutout and Collage book, Vintage Botanical Flowers by Collage Heaven. The next one will be Vintage Botanical Illustrations, Cutout and Collage book. And then the Victorian Shabby Chic Ephemera Collection, the Flower Ephemera Collection, and the Journal Daisy Paper and Ephemera Collection. We will start with the extraordinary things to cut out and collage. What I will do, I will talk a little bit about the book at the beginning, my likes and dislikes, and then we will go into the flip through and then I will just put it on uh, double speed. And if you want to see a particular page, then you have to just press pause and we'll, so that we can get through as much as quickly as possible. So Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage by Maria Rivens is the original, well, I think it's the original book. I have the date as uh, March 2020. It says it has over 1500 images and it has 208 pages. I mean I'll just give you the Australian prices they will change and they will be different in your country so you will have to sort of check that but for us if, to compare one to the other this one is $23. It is quite a big book. It is 31 centimeters high by 23 centimeters nearly 24 centimeters wide so quite a large book and quite a lot of pages. Uh, in the beginning is just an introduction that pros are. There's a lot of variety of images, things that you might find difficult to find, especially if you're doing the Marguerite Miller Challenge. You can usually find what you want in this book. So ideal for people who are doing that. Okay, the, the cons are that it is uh, shiny. There's lots of images or some images you might not like or you might not want to put in your journals. I've used my mum's book because mine's been cut out a lot more, but there's a few, there is a few a couple of images missing out of mum's book too, but she doesn't use it as much as what I use mine, so I thought I'd use her book. Sorry, I don't have a like a complete book. We're up to page 25 already, um, so there are people in the front. Now I'm just going to turn the pages. So my thoughts on this one are that if you're doing the Marguerite Miller Challenge and you're like me, you don't have a lot of magazines, which I don't have, or if there's books that you have that you don't want to cut up, 
Um, oh, you're struggling to find your images. This is a must have. And this is the only one that covers all the range of images that you might need for Marguerite Miller. So this one is also called Extraordinary Things, Cut Out and Collage. So you might get this one if you put it in the search, or you might get the other one. So this one is uh, by Peter Paper Publishing. It is not cheap. It is $24.62. It has 70 pages. It's produced in uh, June 2021. And the rest of them are all the same size. They're just slightly smaller and slightly skinnier which is um, 21 centimetres by 28 centimetres, thereabouts. So it's a vintage themed collection of authentic ephemera for junk journals. OK, I'll start uh, turning pages. So the next one, if you put in um, cut out and collage, it might come up with this one, which it did for me. So cut out and collage, vintage botanical flowers by Collage Heaven. At the moment, but I ordered when I looked at it, it was seventeen fifty nine, and has seventy pages. Published in April twenty twenty one, and you know all these ones are about the same size. So it does have some lovely images. The backing is like this on every page. So. I guess you could use this, it's a little bit dark. Shame it wasn't something a bit more neutral. Um, but huge flowers, if you like, if you like huge flowers, I'll try to yeah, I'll try to do the two-page thing. So this one has a lot of large images, great for large art journaling. So if you're looking for <laughs> flowers for tags, this is not the right book. <laughs> There's too many images that are just too large to go in journals. Yeah, for junk journaling, I don't see how this one is worth the money, even though the flowers are very beautiful. It does have a few pages in the back of smaller um, images to cut out, fussy cut, but not worth the amount of money for, you know, for our journals, it does have it has this on the back of every page, so I skipped those pages. But these are the only real ones that you can little ones you can fussy cut for your journals. Maybe six pages of these little fussy cut ones, and the rest are, you know, huge huge flowers. So unfortunately, it is lovely. The flowers are lovely. They're just too big. One vintage botanical illustrations cut out and collage book, and that one is thirteen ninety nine or fourteen dollars. Uh, 40 pages it's by Anne Everett and it was published in March 2021 so there's images on the first page the pages are slightly more matte than the original collage book but um, still not completely matte but not too shiny so a bit shiny but not as shiny as the other one and a slightly thicker paper uh, this one's just only got white on the back the images are a little bit smaller but still you could do a journal card with that, so it would fill the whole journal card.
I quite like that one. I think I can get use out of uh, most of those images. It says there's 130 images. Um, some might be a little bit big, but I do want to do art journaling and I also want to do uh, collage books where I might have a large flower. So I'm quite happy to have some large images. And then there are some smaller images that um, will fit on tags. Uh, and sometimes, you know, when you get the images from, say, AliExpress, they're just also tiny. Sometimes you just want something that's a bit more, more bold on your tag. So I actually really like this one. I think this one's got a lot of, a lot of use for junk journals, some botanical journals. I like that one. So that's Bota Vintage Botanical Illustrations by Anne Everett. The rest of these are, I've got three more. They seem to me to, to be very similar to Etsy kits. So let's look at this one. It's called Vintage Victorian Shabby Chic Ephemera Collection. 16 sheets and over 180 pieces. It's 12.99. It's quite, it's probably the, I think it's the cheapest one on my list. Uh, 40 pages and it's by Create It Studio. And again, similar sort of size. It says I have 180. This one seems quite nice. I don't remember. Yeah, this is my book. Um, you might like this one, Mum. I think... Uh, this would, would have been one that you might have liked better. So a little circle punch and you've got your little little circle flowers. That's a, lot, a full sheet of that. If you're a kind of person that you've made a journal using that kit and then you don't want to make another one because you don't want five journals of the same kit, then these little books might be a way to get a fairly cohesive pile of images and cards and things to to create a journal and then you, you know, maybe you get a different book next time. So that's just my kind of thoughts on, on it. Next one I have is called Flower Ephemera Collection. It says 18 sheets, nine designs, two of each design. This one's a little bit different. This is more like your lots of your um, Will's cigarette cards and things. So Flower Ephemera Collection is $15.72. says 40 pages and it was printed on the 20th, 20th of September 2019. So this one was an older one. Oh, and it's a, yeah, it's an Alopa collection. I did notice that when I looked it up on Amazon, there are a number of books. I know for sure Alopa Journals has, I don't know, six or seven books listed under her name. Oh, apparently she's got an Etsy shop here. It says Etsy Elopa Online. Oh, I didn't realise that. I haven't looked at her Etsy shop, so I don't know about that. So maybe she's got these in um, digital form. Or maybe you can look at the kit on in digital form and then buy the book. Either way. Not sure. But these are all obviously Will's cigarette cards and again it's in, these are all in the same kind of paper so these are all the same but not as shiny as the original extraordinary things to cut out and this one has um, a nice sort of neutral pale background yeah okay I'll just flip through I think that's actually a really nice book. I like that one. This one's Mum's. Um, I'm just going to um, do a quick flip through the other way because most of the images are going this way. I think it's a nice book. I think it has um, you know, lots of images that you can use to, to decorate and tuck in um, it's got some tags already made, uh, different styles of images. Yeah, nice book. Just this one's left. A uh, light colour version. So that I know there's three. There's like dark grungy version, grungy version and light colour. So Mum bought the light colour, but pretty sure she was disappointed with, with the colour of this one. So it says Daisy Journal Paper and Ephemera Collection, which means that it's all daisies. So, um, yeah. So very vintage. Uh, let me let me get you the prices. 
Daisy Journal in 1649 when I looked it up, printed in June 2021, 40 pages. Doesn't say how many images at the moment, just some vintage. That whole sheet's missing, so I don't know what was on that page. So just letting you know there is an extra page. Um, possibly looks like little tags. Mum's already used. So there we go. These are all of the, the books that mum and I've got so far between us. This one is another one I'll mention. I've got it on order and I was waiting for it to come but now it's, they're telling me it's not coming till October. So I didn't want to wait that long. So I will do the Antiquarian Sticker Book uh, review when it comes out or when it, when it arrives. But there are plenty of these reviews on, on YouTube. Just put that, put that title in. One that I remember is Marimi Small Art. I know that she has done, uh, she's on YouTube and she does lovely mixed media and I know that she did a very detailed um, look at the Antiquarian sticker book and I believe the botanist book as well and she, she compared them and looked at them and did a flip through and a big chat so if you want that one in particular then uh, then head over to Marimi Small Art to, to see that one because mine hasn't arrived yet. So that's it for me today. I've got a bunch of uh, other items to show you but I will um, maybe wait till early next week. And uh, yeah, I'll take it from there. I don't plan too far ahead. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.